Let's move into an acquisition that, uh, that, that Qualcomm made. I mean, gosh, company on the move here. By the way, I love that you said that, just uh, what you said about the more you know me. Uh, you yeah. almost sounded like Bill McDermott in the recent interview. I did, and he said almost the same thing. The only problem he has is if everyone knew him, the business would be this big. Yeah. <laughs> you know, uh, not everyone knows us. Um, yeah, so Qualcomm, um, you know, continues to expand. Uh, you know the number one focus of the organization has been on getting clear market buy-in to its diversification strategy. Uh, CEO Christian Oman, I think, is very confident that the company's device business, its high-end and premium tier, 5G, Snapdragon, and technologies and licensing are all pretty robust, solid, and well-entrenched. But what he's pretty continuously articulated in all of his market commentary is he doesn't feel that it fully, what is fully appreciated is the business's diversification, which is the new routes to market, whether that's PCs, automobile, automotive, IoT. And so, um, you know, the company continues to make acquisitions that are extending sort of the way the company goes to market. And that's what made this uh, Qualcomm acquisition of Cellwise, because it is in, in their space, it's in the RAND space. Um, you know, basically cell uh, Cellwise, you know, is in the space of 5G network deployment, automation, uh, management software. And essentially what Qualcomm is looking to do is to utilize Cellwise to help with multi-vendor uh, RAN automation and management and tying it together to what Qualcomm already offers as a you know, leading 5G RAN platform. And so as I see it, this is an interesting new go-to-market modality for Qualcomm because they're getting closer and closer to having to work and actually uh, have the operators as customers buying. You know, they typically, their market was the ODMs, you know, and they would be like kind of this circular relationship that it would exist. Qualcomm would help the ODMs build devices. Those device makers would then work with the operators to make sure they were certified. But as Qualcomm becomes more um, integral to the actual network itself, to the RAN layer itself, these customers start to have to come to Qualcomm more and more, and they're feeding off of that relationship directly with Qualcomm, which, you know, I don't think should surprise every, anyone. You know, it's kind of like building the semiconductors um, that are going to create the automobile. You know, it used to be done by OEMs that were kind of these tier ones that lived in between the car makers and the chip makers. And now the chip makers are just working directly with all the car makers. Um, this is kind of the same thing that's happening. Qualcomm is going to be working much more closely directly with the operators um, to be able to help, you know, the, them deploy private, uh, you know, and public 5G networks at the pace that the market is expecting. So, you know, as, as I talked to uh, Durga Malati, who runs the business, and there's a pod, and I'll put it in the show notes um, that we did. You know, the long and the short was uh, that this is all about enabling the mobile network operators and enterprises to uh, monetize 5G. So, um, you know, a lot more there, but you know what, Pat, there's just a lot to cover. And I know we uh, we only have a few minutes left. So I'll pause there because I know you probably want to bounce back a few things, but it was a good strategic acquisition that's going to expand the company's business and it's going to expand the depths of its role in 5G. Yeah, my you sucked a lot of the oxygen out of the room, but you did get the interview with Durga, so congrats. Um, what really struck me on this is this isn't hardware, right? This is automation and orchestration. Yep. And this is very different for a a Qualcomm to get it to, to get in this. In fact, I'm unaware of any application or any type of capability that even comes comes close to this. So it's one thing to be in the hardware, it's the other thing to be in the software. Qualcomm's clearly uh, creating a a I would say a half stack platform, right? The reason I call it half stack is you have to add the applications to be a full stack. Uh, but still impressive uh, nonetheless. And I think what we've learned is that uh, uh, customers buy into solutions as opposed to a uh, bag of parts. And um, this is one step closer to that, uh, to, to that solution. So a big part of uh, Qualcomm's diversification strategy, you know, it's interesting we're, we're seeing the company uh, not only hit the edge, but start to come in off the edge, right? So consider, you know, you have chips, you have smartphones, you have RF, that's going to be connecting uh, uh, to the base station that's going to be connected to the RAN and now an open RAN, 